Why is the intro always the hardest part of a video? This is like my 1700th time of doing this. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the weekly vlog. Hi, if you're new, my name's Sophie. Today we are not starting off at home. We are in Singapore. We've just got here. It is 5.30 p.m on a Tuesday afternoon and we're gonna head over to the mall and grab some food because your girl's hungry. Before we do that, let's have a little catch up, shall we? How are you doing? Tell me how's your week been? How was your weekend? I'm a lot better compared to the last weekly vlog where I had like zero energy. Sorry about that. I know I put a little, little disclaimer in it that it was like non-existent energy from me but I did kind of feel bad when I was editing it back. We're doing better this week. We've got one flight and I think that's it. No, we've got two flights this week. So we've got Singapore and then I have one on Sunday, I think. I know it's the end of the week. But between now and then, we've got so much planned. And I'm excited for this week. It's gonna be jam-packed, gonna be full, but I'm not gonna tell you about it. I'm not gonna do what I normally do. We're just gonna live it. So watch the video to find out, okay? <laughs> so about the flight, I know you like the information about the flight. The flight was, how long was the flight? Seven hours fifty could have been triple seven no three eighty. Do I know anything about the flight? I've just worked. It was seven hours fifty a three eighty. Got to work at one a.m. Took off at three a.m. Got here at three p.m. local time. Time difference is four hours ahead of Dubai. So right now it is five thirty, but in my mind, it's 1.30. So tonight's gonna be fun. How are we gonna sleep? I don't know. I do have a lot of admin work to do. Always on that blinking grind. These YouTube videos keep catching up with me. I never seem to film and edit in time for like work and stuff. Honestly, trying to do all this, I'm not complaining, just letting you know. This is how it works. I have to plan my videos when I'm gonna finish and start them, and then when I'm gonna edit it for it to go up the day that it goes up, whilst trying to figure out where I am and what time zone I'm in on what days. It can get a bit confusing. <laughs> so I did that again. I miscalculated the time off I would have to edit the video, so I'm now here, going to have to edit the video tonight for it to go up tonight. Time zones and yeah, anyway. That's a me problem, not a you problem. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Like I said, we're in Singapore. We're here for 30 hours. Not really got much planned. Nobody wanted to do much. If you want to go watch this video, right about here. It was last time I was here, I went to, is it Gardens by the Bay? Um, and it was beautiful. So go watch it. I'll leave it linked below as well. This time we're not doing that. We're gonna go and do a bit of shopping, a bit of retail therapy. Yes, please. I've got my eye on a few little pieces that I've seen in Uniqlo. No, I love a bit of Uniqlo. I'm in the mood to buy, to buy? I'm in the mood to buy some trousers. That sounds really weird, but the only type of trousers I've got are my cohorts that I wear a lot or jeans. So I want some like casually dressy trousers. So we'll see what we come back with because we were either gonna come back with trousers or no trousers. Anyway, so I thought I'd just say hi, get the weekly vlog going. I hope you're doing well and let's head over to the mall. I also, before before that, we're gonna go to the restaurant. I don't remember what it's called, but you will know if you watch the last Singapore vlog, we'll go in there. I'll put it in the montage that's gonna come up, where we're gonna go. The food. shopping experience with a little bit sad. I went into Uniqlo, tried on so many clothes and all I came out with was gym tops. I'm gonna keep going.
it's currently 6 a.m. I've woke up at 2 and now we're heading to the gym. Jet lag. Wednesday, happy Wednesday. We're still in Singapore, we've just got ready to leave. I realised I didn't actually film at all today. But you'll be happy to know, I feel great. I've slept, I've ate good food, I slept some more, I worked out. That was a good day, not gonna lie. I finally caught up on so much sleep. Blackout curtains are amazing. I will say that. <laughs> it is now 6.35 here, p.m. And I've got to be downstairs by 7, I think it is. So I've got like 20 minutes, give or take, to wrap this place up and get out the door. I did go back over to the mall today and get some food. I went back to that restaurant. And I also didn't finish it because my eyes were bigger than my belly. So I've got half of it to take back with me so I can eat that on the flight. And I've got a smoothie for the bus, so I'm, I'm doing well. Also, I have to take my jewellery off because you can't wear jewellery. Well, you can't wear a necklace or bracelets uh, for work. You can wear one ring on each finger or two rings on your wedding finger. And then you can wear study rings depending on the style. So this has to come off. We get back to Dubai, I think it's at like 1am. So get home at like 3 get into bed, sleep by like 4, 4.30 and then it's Thursday. I am going to pack up and head out the door and let's go home. I miss my bed. Good morning, happy Friday. What is going on with my hair? I think if I don't say that in a video, not a normal video. Jesus. Anyway. Hello, happy Friday. What have I been up to? Thursday was obviously yesterday. Why am I trying to explain how the week works? I'm currently at half six in the morning, on a Friday morning. I should really leave right now. But I'm gonna talk to you instead. Yesterday was Thursday, what did I do? I woke up, I went to the gym, I had a big PT meeting. PT meeting, is that a thing? Basically, I had a big chat with my PT about where the journey's going because Next week, I think, is three months. So we have taken it in a new direction, and all that fun stuff. If you wanna know more about it, I can do like a dedicated video. Let me know if that's something that you wanna hear about, cause I can tell you about like the update within three months. Now I'm headed to the uniform store. I don't know if I told you, I can't remember. I need to go to the uniform store because, hello. My uniform is too big. Yes, I got stopped in work the other day because my skirt's too big and my jacket's too big. It looks like I'm wearing my dad's jacket. It's that big. Yes. So hopefully they can help me today. The shop, the store, we call it the uniform store. You don't really buy stuff, you just go. Well, that's what it's called. I don't know why, it's just what we call it. It opens at seven, I think and it's now 6.35, so I think I'm doing good for timing. How mad is this, by the way? Look at my window, look. It's actually got like, condensation? I'm calling it condensation. Because of how hot it is outside and how warm, no wait, yeah. How hot it is outside and how cold it is inside. I woke up and I was like, it look, literally looks like something out of a horror movie. Not okay about that. Anyway, I need to go order a taxi. I'm gonna get a taxi. I was gonna get the metro, but no thank you, sir. I'm okay. We're gonna go get a taxi and we're gonna go see if they can help me. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. We all know whenever I go to the uniform store, we end up waiting for hours on end. Not cool. Let me go grab my water. I'm gonna take some water with me because it's gonna be a long morning. Got my breakfast, as in protein bar. Be 
I'm back and I only ended up waiting about an hour and 40 minutes and I got a scene to so that is not a bad day that is a good start to the day <laughs> so I ended up getting they wanted to alter my jackets because they were too big but the jackets were too big to be altered so I ended up going down two sizes and my skirts have gone down two sizes and my shirts have gone down one size I'm very proud of myself I will say because I, I, do you know what? I'll probably talk about this in a like a journey, fitness journey video that I was telling you about. But I don't see the difference in myself. I don't. Point blank. I just, I still think I'm the same person as I was three months ago nearly. But that's just proved to me that I'm, I'm not. <laughs> so I'm very proud of myself. I don't know if you can admit that, but I am. I'm very proud of myself. But anyway, now it's time for breakfast and I pre-made some overnight Weetabix. I don't know if I, I have showages, they're in my cooking video that I made, I'll leave it here. Um, if you want more cooking videos, let me know as well because my adventurous side of cooking is slowly coming out. I'm starting to enjoy it a lot more now. But yes, I'm going to go eat my breakfast, relax for a little bit. It is only quarter past nine in the morning and then I'll head to the gym. I've got a full day as well, like of stuff I need to do. So today is gonna be a busy little day and I think I'm here for it, but I also kinda wanna have a nap. I only slept like four hours last night. So I can feel a nap brewing at some point as well. <laughs> Evening. I feel like I've not spoke to you for so long. It's currently midnight on Friday, technically Saturday morning now. Um, I last spoke to you, I think it was just before I went to the gym and then I came back and I just powered through the day. I did so much and now I'm ready to go to bed. I've just finished editing the vlog, the one that went up on Sunday, go check it out, my little evening routine. Now I'm gonna go to bed because I'm up early in the morning. Well, early is not early, early. But anyway, I've got social plans tomorrow and we're going out, we're going to brunch. We've not done a proper brunch on a Saturday in so long. So I'm very excited about that. It is for one of my friend's birthdays. She's a friend of a friend who I've met a couple of times and she invited me to go to her birthday brunch. So I'm gonna go meet loads of new people. I know like three or four people there. I'm very excited, very scared, very nervous, but it's okay. The only downside is I can't drink. I'm taking it as a blessing because the, the lifestyle change, but I can't drink because I have work on Sunday. So I am the designated mother tomorrow. I'm gonna look after everyone, make sure everyone's okay. I'm excited to just go out and be social. I've not been out this week, so it's my one little outing. Anyway, I'm gonna head to bed. It is midnight, like I've just said. So I will catch you lot in the morning. Well, hello. Happy Saturday. Just zipping up my dress. Hold on. Oh, there we go. So how are we all doing? I'm dressed. I'm ready. It is currently 12.46. I said I'd be at hers at one o'clock. She lives 25 minutes away. Guess I'm the late friend today. <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd just pop in and say hello because I'm probably not going to speak to you today. You are going to come with me, you are going to see brunch, but I thought I'd show you what I'm going to wear. So I've got this play suit on from Quiz. If I can link it, I will. 
it was a purchase I made a couple of weeks ago when I was in Glasgow. Jewelry is Ana Luisa. This ring is Pandora. Got my infinity stones on, got my world on. And the lipstick, because so many people asked me what lipstick I was wearing last video when I went out. It's this one. It's the Sephora's own in number 13. It has been my holy grail for about eight years. Ever since I moved to Dubai, I picked this up and I've got them everywhere. This one, I recommend it and I don't top it up. But I will say the red one, because I did buy the red one initially for work multiple years ago, that is so drying. I know red lipstick and red lip stain is drying anyway, but that one's bad. This one is fine and you don't need to top it up. So it's a win-win. Don't know what's going on with my hair. I've got a million and one clips to take with me because I'm going to my friends now to have a little pre-drink because like I said before, I can't drink at brunch. So we're gonna have a drink before so that I'm not completely sober and I'll just fix my hair there. The bag I'm using is this black one. It's from Teddy Blake, put that in there. It does have a big strap. I take it off initially and then later on I'll just put it on when I get bored of it. Get bored of carrying it, I should say. The compact I'm using at the minute is the Fenty Beauty one. I think it's a little bit too dark for me. I say that as it looks like Casper White. It's the 120. Does leave a bit of a cast, obviously, because it's tinted, but it's fine. Anyway, I think that's it. I just need to put some perfume on. I've got black bag, black shoes. I think it goes well. The only annoying thing is this looks silver. It's the Starlight one, but it looks silver and it's really annoying. And I don't want to take it off because your girl needs to count the steps. Yeah. We've rambled on long enough. I need to go order a taxi. I need to head out the door. I've had my protein shake for the day and I had my breakfast and I've already gave up. We are having a cheat day. I'm going to eat the food that I pay for at this brunch. I will eat it. It's gonna be hard because of all this hard work that I've been putting in, but I need to do it. The brunch we're going to, by the way, is Seven Sisters. It's in Business Bay, I think. I'm not too sure. I can leave it linked below, not sponsored. It's a friend's birthday, she's picked the brunch, we're going to it, okay? Anyway, let's head out the door, let's get to my friends, let's get a drink, and let's get going. Oh, I got a message from the taxi. The taxi's outside. Taxi. I don't know, it's outside. Hi. <laughs> we're ready. We are supposed to be there by now, but we're not. Of course we're not. I'm here. She's the late friend. <laughs> this is the late friend. But yes, it's going to be like 20 minutes in taxi and then we're going to get there. So, enjoy the montage. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never so know hot. when it is over, <laughs> over. So hot. All that I know it's is we'll get older. So let us dance this night away. Oh, 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 Our bodies move to the groove and the light the flickers. We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker. We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter. Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter. Feel the air can stand in a Well, happy Sunday. It is Sunday and I'm ready to go to work. Well, I'm in the process of getting ready. It is currently 12.15 and I'm getting picked up at one o'clock. I'm heading to Nairobi. It's normally a turnaround, but this one's a layover. So I'm actually very excited to go. Hopefully we can go and do something touristy. I wanted to talk, I didn't, there's something I wanna talk about, but then I didn't really wanna talk about it, but I'm gonna talk about it. Yeah, um, yesterday was an experience. Because I wasn't drinking, you see things differently. I'm trying to wear this so like, correctly. Being out with all the girls was fine. Like, like I said before, I just met a couple of them, I, or I hadn't met a couple of them, I met them yesterday. And it was fine. It was later on in the day, well night, that started really annoying me. So I don't <laughs> I feel bad talking about this, but 
it's life and it, it really annoyed me and it annoys me that people put up with it. So we went to like a, um, like a nightclub after we did brunch and all the girls were very drunk. So it was fine, I was still having a good time drinking my soda water. <laughs> I wanna, like before I start this, I wanna start off by saying I have the worst rest and bitch face you will ever come across. If you ever see me in public and I look very unhappy or I look like I'm really pissed off at someone, sorry about swearing, I'm not. It's just my face. I've had this problem ever since I was a kid. I've been called out on it multiple times and multiple times a day. There's nothing I can do about it. It's just my resting face. It's angry. It looks annoyed. It looks like I'm staring at you. I'm not. So when people stare at me with a resting bitch face, I don't think anything of it because I do the same thing and I get called out on it all the time. My friends are really good at it and they say, Sophie, stop, fine. And then I think about what I'm doing and I smile more, which is annoying because you have to smile. Anyway, the more drunk people get, this wasn't anyone that we was with, this was like people around us. The more drunk people get, they just stare at you and talk about you, obviously in front of your face. And because all the, you're normally, <laughs> I'm trying to, it's so hard to explain this. Because you're normally drunk, you don't think of it. But it was really starting to bug me. And it was from girls and guys. And then the, the icing on the cake, or the cherry on top of the, the cake, I should say, was this little man, don't really want to call him that, came over and turned around to me and my friend and went, oh, you are just below average. I was like, okay, thank you. Have a lovely rest of your day. Didn't ask for your opinion, but please carry on. And then he just starts letting rip on me, saying there's everything wrong with me, I'm not pretty, I'm disgusting, no one's ever gonna like you. I was like, I don't know you. That's all I kept saying, I was like, I do not know you, I do not care about you, I did not invite you into this conversation. You walked over to me and just started insulting me. I'm sober, so it's starting to really affect me. My friend's drunk, she's off and away. So. Eventually his friend came over and dragged him away because he just wouldn't stop. I don't know who heard this man yesterday or in his life or whatever has happened to him, but he decided to take it out on me. I was sat there having a drink, whatever. Soda water, bearing in mind. So anyway, that, that happened and then we moved to like the other side of the room, dancing, whatever, having a good time. And then someone else decides to just tell me that I'm ugly. I was like, right, thank you. Again, I didn't invite you into this conversation. I was not talking to you. You came over to me, why? So anyway, I came home, I got home about nine o'clock and I FaceTimed my sister and I told her what was going on. And I was like, why do we put up with it when we're drunk? Like, I know when you're drunk, you're a little bit more let loose. So you can either go one way or the other, but I seen it happen to so many different girls where girls or guys would go up to them and just let rip and be rude to them for no reason and they just let it go. One, why are we just letting it go? And two, who gives you the audacity to go up to somebody and just be horrible to them because you've had a drink? That's not an excuse. So yeah, going out sober honestly changed so much of my perspective on people. I didn't tell you that story as well for like sympathy or whatever. I just wanted to like talk about it. That it does happen and it happens a lot and it's not needed. Like if you don't have anything nice to say about someone, shut up and go away or be quiet. <laughs> if you can't tell, it really annoyed me. So yeah, I came home obviously, told my sister and it was really playing on my mind a lot. Like I have no idea who this, these people were that said it, couldn't tell you. I could say some harsh words about them, but I'm going to choose not to. And why am I letting it get to me? I don't know, but obviously you do. But again, I'm not telling you this for sympathy. I don't want sympathy. I'm just sharing an experience with you because obviously this is what the channel's about. It's like sharing life experiences. So yes, it does happen. It's really annoying. If you don't have anything nice to say, keep on walking. Or don't walk up to the person in the first place. That's a... Uh, Gail yeah, talk with Sophie over. <laughs> what else happened yesterday? The brunch was actually really good. I definitely go back when it's more of a restaurant environment because the food was really good. It was. Music was on point. Would recommend. Again, I didn't tell you for sympathy. I don't want the whole cry Sophie story. 
I'm just sharing an experience and my opinions on it. Anyway, I am going to end this weekly vlog here and we're going to start the new one in Nairobi. So, if you want to find out what we get up to in Nairobi, stick around, subscribe, give this video a like and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!